Okay, I'm gonna start streaming. Alright, start streaming that shit. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I need that border too. Oh, the background thing? Yeah. Uh, I just, um, made the... I made, like, just a blue background thing. I don't... I and don't then I just put stuff on top of it. That's oh, cool. why can't you just... I don't know. I'll send like, you... The, I'll send you it. Alright, because I, I want to just, you know... That's kind of what uh, Gampy Grumpers do with their thing. They probably just take the... Uh, I mean, berry. Mm. Alright, so I got Adblock Plus now, so that'll hopefully make things run better. Do 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 I'll just use that. Maybe I'll. No, I'll just use that when I. Uh, how do you. What are you doing exactly? Is this windowed? Yeah. Oh, uh, you just. You framed it, okay. When I record, uh. What's this, uh. Pokemon, I'll just frame that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with Pokemon. Let me download a Pokemon Emerald. Actually, I have Pokemon Emerald already downloaded. Um, while I'm watching this, I'm gonna ask you a few questions of what we're gonna do exactly with Pokemon with the uh, Emerald. Okay. I need to get the randomizer ROM. I need to get the ROM out. Uh, extract here. Okay, so get rid of that README. Uh, okay. Actually, I could... Do you want me to do uh, Princess Rescue? I have that game. Not now. How about, uh... How about, uh... Zippy the Porcupine? What? Yeah, they're making Sonic into an Atari game. And they're calling it Zippy the Porcupine. Well, yeah. It's... It's only a demo, though, and it's... Pretty fucking terrible. <laughs> Understandably, it's a demo, but man, I tried playing it. And the nice thing about the uh, the the the, uh, the the emulator for the Atari, it installs and then it already programs your current controller to work with it, so you don't have to map the buttons or button. Oh, oh man, all those buttons with the program. Uh, the only problem with Mario is that he jumps. He does. He he jumps with the with with the with the press of the button he jumps. No, wait, yeah. But if you have the fire flower equipped, you have to press up. It's not too bad. It's not really bad. I mean, you could easily reprogram the button to be different if you really need it to be. Which I might if I ever play the game. It's only four worlds though, but it's still fucking hard. <laughs> it's hard because it's design choices. Uh, okay, um... Let's get the randomizer opening. Okay, so I'm gonna open up and get... Really bad at this whole Sonic thing. How do you Sonic? How do I Sonic? Um, okay. Pokemon Emerald. What am I doing? Am I updating moves? Yes. Move trade evolutions. I'm gonna lowercase the Pokemon names, and I'm gonna give the national Dex Why? stuff. Cause I like it. I don't. <laughs> I like it. I like that they did that. It was a. It. Was, I appreciate that. I'm, so I'm gonna do it, and I'm playing it. So randomized held held items. No game breaking moves. No allow them. Okay. Uh, race mode. Select this to enable certain things which are useful for a speed run. 
come on, I want to do that. Remember, you create the ability to save log will be disabled, and a Chuck Valley will be generated. No, no thanks. Um, Pokemon base stats, unchanged. Random, completely random. God damn it. Uh, abilities, ran uh, unchanged or randomized? Randomize. A lot of Wonder Guard? Uh, no. If this is... Oh, okay, I, th I thought it meant get rid of Wonder Guard, I'm sorry. Uh, starter Pokemon, random, completely? Completely. completely. Pokemon types, unchanged? Unchanged. I hate randomizing the Pokemon types. That's like... Move sets, randomly, completely. Yeah, completely random. Trainers Pokemon, yeah. random. Uh, I will carry starter throughout the game, no nope. thanks. Try to use Pokemon with similar strength, nope. Don't use legendaries. No early Shedinja. Uh, I... no early Shedinja. Because, well, Wonder Guard's not, well, we don't... Okay, well, Wonder Guard's not here, so... Oh, yeah, so you can allow for that, I guess. Randomized, uh, names, class names. Uh, Wild Pokemon. What is, uh, Catch Pokemon? Uh, global one-to-one -one mapping. Every place Pokemon appears in will be replaced by a certain Pokemon. This one does not apply to any other such rules. What are we doing? Just random? Everything random. Well, because Pokemon, while Pokemon can be random, area one to one mapping, or global one to one mapping. Completely random. Well, the, okay. Uh, there are rules. If this is turned on, every random Pokemon chosen to a place will be one that hasn't been there. Uh, what are we doing for uh, type theme areas or catch them all mode? Random. Or none, or there's, there's an additional rule. There's none mode, there's none, catch them all mode, or type theme areas. None. Okay. Don't use legendaries. Set minimum catch rate. Set minimum catch rate. What does that do? Uh, if a Pokemon's really hard to catch, it'll make it easier to catch. Oh, okay. Static Pokemon. Unchanged. Random. Completely? Yes. yes. Uh, TMs. Uh, random. TM okay. compatibility? You want that to be random or not? TMs? Yeah. Compatibility. Uh, maybe prefer same type. Like, random, but you can... If it's the same type, it'll go for the Pokemon. Yeah, that worked. Uh, move tutor moves. Uh, random. Yeah. Move tutor compatibility, prefer same type. And I think that's it. Yes. And I, we're, we're gonna call this... What, what are we gonna name this from? We're gonna name this from, uh... Uh... Emma Dudes. Emma Dudes. Ember, Ember dude, Ember dudes. I don't want to save a log file. I don't want to produce a file. No thanks. All right, now whenever you're ready to do this shit, we'll be ready. So you are playing Sonic after the sequel. Who's who? Who made this game? Somebody? Mike Pepper. Is he good? I don't know. I, I I do love me some before the sequel. Like I, it was the first time I was genuinely a, enjoying a Sonic game since I played Generations. Before the sequel is like one of the first fan games I've seen that actually impressed me. So I was really interested in that for the sequel. And the music in this game, I think it's superior to before the sequels, but they're both still amazing. I it, it, the best part is they're just remixes, aren't they? Not no. Oh, most okay. Well, from what no, I've they, listened, they um there are some remixes, but most of before the sequel was remixes. But in this game, most of them are original. So it's like you know, City but, Escape. It's it's kind of like classic City Escape taking it taking a nod from uh, Quiet Yeah, that's Mind. basically yeah. Or is like it this is song it, right no, here? It's... Right here is actually a throwback to the very first level in before the sequel. When are we gonna get Bridge Zone remixes? Uh, what I feel like. Want Bridge Zone! Okay, so when's the, the next game coming out? It's gonna be Sonic during the sequel then? <laughs> no, he's actually making a Sonic Chrono Adventure. What? Yeah. What is that supposed to be? It's a Metroidvania Sonic game with elements from Chrono Trigger. I want. <laughs> <laughs> I want. <laughs> I like the gimmick of this one actually. And the lightning? Yeah, it, it, it's something. It's better than, you know, oh my god, Orbanauts in every Sonic 1 stage. Then they then they were like, the Orbanauts were nostalgic, so we're bringing them back in Sonic 3. 
they they brought back like ice orbinats and then what pissed me off the most was the uh, oh look elemental shield do they function the same way as they do in the nope the bubble shield gives you a double jump like in before the sequel uh oh. the spike shield protects you from spikes and allows you to like hit, go like down really fast aren't there like kirby abilities in this game too yes <sighs> it's, oh, I, I think it's only in cyan city zone though get your kirby out of my zelda I mean Sonic. Get Sorry, your Kirby out of my Zelda. Sorry, old habits die hard. <laughs> they do. But um, but yeah, Sonic gets beam and Tails gets mirror. I think it's mirror. I dig mirror. Mirror is one of my favorite Kirby superstar abilities. So not as not as great as cheesing my way through the game as Plasma, but still. Colton's favorite uh, Kirby helper will always be Wisp. Ironically, because uh, 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 in before Sonic Colors joke. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, the... Yeah, though no, I'm surprised though. There, Sonic has a bit more weight to him. Like he feels a bit heavier. He feels pretty good to actual classic Saturn physics to me. Oh yeah, no, you all. I can speak by the way. Classic Saturn, yes. Classic Sonic. I after playing a bit of a couple Sonic hacks yesterday, and all great Sonic hacks. You know, just simple. Uh, we're gonna put different characters in, you get to use them. Uh, Amy, very underrated character to play as. Yeah, I never played it, but it looked very interesting to play. I played, I just finished Sonic 3 with Amy Rose, and... I'm gonna admit, some of the bosses are a hell of a lot harder, and some of them you're able to cheese your way through with the hammer, so, uh... I might actually play Sonic, uh, Advance now with the, uh... with Amy. I wouldn't usually, because I just thought Amy was too radically different. And then I play Sonic Advance 2, and all that's thrown out the window. I want to. I think we should. Uh, I want to give uh, Sonic uh, 2 Pink Edition a try too, because cream. Because cream. Uh, they really need to do something about that. You can jump over the signpost, and you won't get it. What? Like I always loved jumping over the signpost. And it's just like a thing I do. Oh, I thought you were talking about Sonic 2 Pink Edition. No, I'm talking about this game. <laughs> Like, but in Sonic games, I always jump over the signpost. Even in Generations, I like jump, like I jump right as I hit the goal ring. I used to do that. I really liked playing as Knuckles in Sonic 2 a lot. So anything that lets me play as different characters in Sonic, like two or three, is a walk. What? All of a sudden, music. Yeah, I, know, I decided that I, you're probably not listening to the stream, so I kind of. Just well, it. it's kind of hard when the. When the music is not properly, how do I say, yeah, I synced to the video, but not, I don't really care. It's a Sonic game. <laughs> it's Dude, I know what Sonic games sound like. They have great music, except for four. So, Metal Tails, eh? What the hell? Tails! <laughs> Tails! You're gonna crash! Ah! Uh, Colton needs to be online more. <laughs> yeah. Let's or get it. someone else on here to be uh, to be live stream with us. Do we know anyone else that can live stream with us? Uh, yes. Do we want those people to live stream with us? Maybe. If the person that you I'm referring to that's been in one of our videos before, I say no. Um, teleportation, yeah. You've got a lot of background noise. Thank you, Skype. My fan is going off in my room, but that's just because it keeps me slightly cool. Oh yeah, I just I just took a quick glimpse through my Skype list to try to figure out who you were talking about who was in our videos before, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who was in our one other video that had a guest commentator? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. How about the guy that talks likes otters so much? <laughs> Think he's watching this? <laughs> Probably not. Who's watching it then? Probably just. This music's ridiculous. Look, an actual way to explain how he stole the Chaos Emeralds. Oh. 
Time for Cocaine Hill Zone. What? Is that what it's called? No. Sorry, the music is not properly synced with the video, <laughs> but I still appreciate it. <laughs> it's Sugar Splash Zone. But, like, so if you run into a pile of sugar, Sonic will, like, his eyes will get, or his pupils will get smaller and he'll run faster. So everyone make jokes about it being Cocaine Hill Zone. I'd rather call it Cocaine Hash Zone. I can't remember, sir. Yes, there is. I wish that was maple syrup. Dude. And then, like, well, and then, like, yeah, that'd, and that'd be better if it was syrup, but, like, it'd be hard to see through. Well, it could be like, you know, runny syrup. What is it? Li like, liquidated sugar? I don't know. Something. Ah, uh, I'm to cheese my way through it, it's not working. Oh my god, Sonic's going fa- Sonic was going faster all of a sudden. Yeah, it's- I ran into a pile of sugar. Could- could- could the, uh, could the- could the trees have, like, crunch berries growing out of them? A lot of very interesting ideas. So. Uh, and then like, uh, and then like when it's time to party, there's disco waffles. I do like that gimmick though of the the, the piles of sugar. Is supersonic in this game? Uh, not playable, but there's a final boss. Well, I'd rather have. Do you have to collect the chaos emeralds in special uh, stages now? What is now? that star? What? I collected it. Whatever it was. Oh, I I just asked asked you uh. Um, what? Collect Chaos Emeralds? Maybe? Uh, if I wasn't playing Story Mode, yes. Well, I mean, how does it work? Is it like Sonic before the sequel? Because I've never played after the sequel. I don't know, I've never played the special stage. Because I- or, is it like you have- the, the special stage is in before the sequel where just collect rings and get free- free one-ups that you don't really need. What's wrong with that guy? Uh-huh. What is he supposed to be? I don't know. It's some sort of dog. I don't know. Just when I, uh, the otters online. Okay, good for him, I guess. Dishwasher, yes. I wish the water was chocolate milk. You constantly keep changing what it is. What? You constantly keep changing what it is. Well, no, the, wa the water here would be chocolate milk, but the waterfalls would be syrup. Chocolate syrup. It makes sense if you think about it in context of things. So, uh... Tails doesn't have a custom model, right? For this game? Custom sprite? Yeah. Uh, I think he does. It looks insanely similar to the original Tails, so I couldn't tell. It's not a bad thing. Hey, where's the drowning music? Uh, I was drowning for a moment, there was drowning music. I... Well, you also have to realize that I'm uh, listening yeah. to your audio <laughs> through Skype. Yeah, and, and then, uh, yeah, the video's way off, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I it, just went back. It, how, how good was it when I, when I was streaming something? Um, it was like... Two seconds, not even. Oh, well, that's good. Well, I have better internet, though, so... And if I lo did lower quality, I probably would have even less desyncing, but... Still, two seconds is better than this. <laughs> Seriously, that looks like maybe it's frosty. <laughs> well, you give me something that's sugary sweet and looks like that. Caramel or something. Caramel's darker. Or just and a lot you, of sugar. And you really get dense. caramelized and wake up a million years in the future, and then it'd be <laughs> like Eggman land for every no. zone. <laughs> No, you get caramelized, and then they make uh, dinosaurs out of you. There you go. Sonic the dinosaur. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Why can't I eat my chili dog? My arms are too stubby. <laughs> oh, I want to see if there's. A, I'm gonna look up online to see if there's a Sonic the dinosaur. Cause I have nothing better to do right now. This game plays fine with the keyboard, actually. It plays better than it would with my Xbox joystick, by the way. I can't find a dinosaur that... That's uh, some dinosaur. No one makes it yet. 
Maharaj. Oh. Oh, what just, just happened? I broke everything. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I can't boy. find Sonic the Dinosaur. It does not exist. There's Good. Sonic messing around with dinosaurs, like beating the shit out of them, but... There is no Sonic the Dinosaur. When does he fight dinosaurs in- Oh, Secret rings? Yeah, there's gameplay footage of him running with fucking dinosaurs. <laughs> you know, he, 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 literally, he's running with dinosaurs. I would show you the- actually, I could show you the- hold on. I think I know what you're talking about. Sounds like the begin uh, beginning of Dinosaur Jungle. It's dinos. It's a jungle. What more do you want? It's Arabian Nights! It's not the prehistoric times! Dinosaurs! <laughs> Sonic running with dinosaurs. He's like, sharp tooth! And just hightails it. There's a- there's a Lamb Before the Time reference for you- for you, Sean. I remember when I was in grade school, uh, my friend was really into dinosaurs, and he would always talk about the ex the actual, like, scientific names and shit, and then his friends would be like, we know what you're talking about, and then he would pause, breathe a heavy sigh, and then say sharp tooth, and then they would say, oh, those are awesome! <laughs> and I'm like, kids aren't that dumb, right? And he's like, be surprised. Go down the- go down the frosting waterfall. You said you couldn't do a bubble bounce. I'm not. I'm doing a double jump. Bubble it's, jump. I heard the bounce noise. <laughs> but I did a double jump. It's not a bubble bounce. Oh gosh, you're. Uh. Um. So tell me more about this Sonic Chrono game. I don't really know that much about it, to be honest. It's not I mean, so wait, it's who's finished. playing Chrono it's Trigger for the channel? Is that gonna be me? Probably you. I don't know it. Well, I own three versions of it, so. I've heard good things about it, but I never played it. Uh, I'd say get the DS version because it's e RPGs are much easier to play on the go. Unless you're the kind of guy that sits at home and plays RPGs all day, like me. You can just borrow my DS version. I don't play it. I bought it for like ten bucks, I think, because it was on sale. I got I. My mom and I went Black Friday shopping, and uh, it was there, and I'm like, could I get this? She's like, for Christmas, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I played it for a bit, and then I got stuck at the future part, because I just didn't care. I do want to play more of it, and I am really into it, and it's a hell of a fun game. But I just got distracted by other games at the time. I get distracted by games constantly. That's probably the reason I, why I overheard my games. It's not that I don't like it. the game. I think it's a great game. I just haven't gotten around to playing it. It's in my backlog. Like Final Fantasy VI, and uh, uh, I finally beat EVO Search for Eating. That was uh, that was an experience. Evolving fish into... I turned into a giant feathered dinosaur with wings. Feathered dinosaur. Uh, I had the choice to become a mammal, and then I was like, eh, 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 I Eh, I want to be a flying terror, terror, tyrannosaurus, pterodactyl, tra t stegosaurus. The only problem is in the ice age of that game, when you're walking around, you uh, you can't really walk well because it's slippery. But if you're a human, you can for some reason. That makes a lot of sense. So I just flew. Or I just I would just fly everywhere. That was a great water effect, by the way. It's not water. Oh, what happened? I don't know, but it make, it's making the gravity noise from uh, Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, so I'm immediately assuming it's gravity. If it was brown, it'd be a milkshake just flying through. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a random milkshake! <laughs> just like, you're in a milkshake machine, that's what's happening. The more you go in there, the more Sonic's blood sugar keeps going up, and then if you go, if you, if the thing happens a hundred times, Sonic gets diabetes and dies. <laughs> Sonic, death by diabetes. <laughs> death by diabetes. <laughs> oh gosh, I wish there was, like, did any of the 2D platforming Sonic games ever pay homage to Sonic's chili dog thing? Uh, 2D? 
I don't think so. Because I think the first that we ever got Sonic liking chili dogs was actually, uh... Black Knight? Well, no, canonically and, na and non-canonically... Uh, in the canon of Sonic, uh, Black Knight was the first game where Sonic... In, in like, it was canon that Sonic likes chili dogs. However, well, as early right as Sonic AOS, or AOSTH, uh, that was pretty much the first thing that ever showed that Sonic likes chili dogs. Did they just run with that? They were like, uh, in the, in the American version of Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon, one of the versions, Sonic likes chili dogs. Actually, he likes them in both, but that's not the point. Why'd you just die? I killed myself. Okay. Does it even- does it- does- is, did the zone introduction list the music? Uh, it lists the people who made it. Oh, I thought it listed the actual track. That'd be cool. More games need to do that. Wrestling video games do that. It's really weird. Need for speed does it. I, all these sports games do it. It's kind of odd. No, I I don't I haven't really played a Nintendo game that does that besides like uh, maybe uh, WarioWare one of them at least. I think WarioWare. I could be wrong. Rhythm Heaven does it at one point. Oh, Rhythm Heaven. It's okay. The, what is the name of the game? Exactly, but it doesn't do it the whole game, thus it makes it unique. Oh, okay. I think, uh... I wanna say, uh, Elite Beat Agents probably does it, but I'm probably wrong. I want games just list the tracks, even though they just, like, no music. It's like, NO MUSIC! Well, I mean... If there's a good track in a video game, like, unless you- if, Unless the, the specific mute track that's being played is at a specific location in the game, you're gonna have a hard time finding that track. Yeah, you, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, uh, oh man, Pokemon, I wish I knew what song was happening during this section of the game. With Pokemon happening, like you know, with Pokemon happening, you know how it is and how it how it be. Uh, uh, you know, locations have specific tracks, so you're able to give those tracks the title of that location, which I can. And, and most RPGs are like that to begin with, so you know. And Sonic is the same way for some of its stages. Question for Unleashed: What is the main theme of that game? Endless possibilities. Yes, that's what I thought. Really good track. I'm starting to get into that music of the game. Sonic Unleashed music is fantastic. It's a Sonic game. What'd you expect? Yeah. Oh, I'm running on the ceiling. Hell, even Tails Adventure has good music. Seriously, Tails Adventure has great music. Does it? Yeah, I've, uh, after watching a couple playthroughs and playing it a bit myself, really good, actually. I was pleasantly surprised by the amount of effort put into that game. Actually, the Game Gear games pretty much have, you know, I mean, not all of them are good, but, you know, there's... You're better off playing the actual numbered titles, and even then, play the Master System versions of those games. I really hope the tri Triple Trouble Master System conversion gets completed someday. Oh, this is the section of the level that's a complete douchebag and starts doing the gravity thing constantly. Like, you only have, like, a really Are those penguins with sugar in them? Uh, I don't know. They look like penguins, or very big salt shakers. I was thinking more like a salt shaker thing. Well, this is Sugar Splash Zone, or Cocaine Hash Zone, as I like to call it. But, again, just, meh. I don't know, I'd like to see more, uh... I want, I want to get I more fan like... games on my computer. All I have are this, is the Sonic one, the Waluigi uh, games, the Mega Man games. Actually, I have kind of a lot of good fan games on my computer. I have a few of them, but, um... Psycho Waluigi's like... kind of interesting. It, it's actually a unique take on the platformer. Yeah, but I would like the actual Sonic games to do something more like this. Right back. I... That's where Christian Whitehead comes in, then. Or whatever his name is. I'll be back in a short period and entertain the people that aren't watching. Well, I, what am watching. I supposed to do? Be entertaining.
Do something. I don't even have control over the stream. Good. Be entertaining. I'll be back shortly. It's not gonna take just, me long. Just jump cut. <laughs> yeah, I will in the recording, but for right now. Okay, good. Um. Yeah, but for right now, entertain. Do something. I don't know. I'll be back really shortly. Um. You guys want to see a picture of Sonic with a dinosaur? Oh, when Sean listens to this, hopefully he puts a picture of Sonic racing the dinosaur that I sent him. Or maybe, uh, maybe he could put in the, uh, the other picture that I'm about to send him. Uh, okay, I want Sonic, I want Sonic and the dinosaur to get along. So, um, I want Sean to post this picture of Sonic and the dinosaur playing together. Um, it's from DeviantArt, but, uh, I would appreciate it. I would appreciate that dinosaur being in the artwork. So, Sean, get on that. Um, you know, um, I'm still on that topic of finding pictures of Sonic with dinosaurs and... Or Sonic being a dinosaur. I, I just can't. I've, I've literally lost the ability to can. It's depressing. Uh... Yeah, well, there's another picture of Sonic that I'm going to also send Sean that shows him. It's more deviant art, mind you, of Sonic with Spike the dinosaur, and Sonic's a werehog, and he's piecing out with the dinosaur. Right, that's that's as good as I got, guys. Um, I, I, I just... That's it. Uh, if I was controlling the stream, I could show you these pictures, but... You know, I... <sighs> That's how it is. I might put this picture in. I'm just gonna ask Sean to put these pictures in when, uh, whenever I send it to him, so... Yeah. Hopefully he does this, because I would appreciate it. Yeah. I'll tell him when he gets back, so don't worry. Um, looking for more pictures. Deviant art is funny. <laughs> oh gosh, the death animation for Super Sonic is pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't understand. Super Sonic gets an awesome, like, custom sprite work. But, Super Tails? Nope. Super Knuckles? Nope. <sighs> Sorry if I'm boring right now. Uh, Sean just ran away and hasn't come back yet, so I can't really say much about that. Eh. Do 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 do. If there's anything I could point you guys in the right direction of, it's the Mega Man X30 project. It's currently in point version uh, 3.0 is currently in the development right now and it's looking really good the guy that's developing it right now is sort of just uh 
he's done a lot. I can say that much. Like, Zero is playable. First off, that's the most important thing. And, yeah. Really good. Uh, it doesn't detract from the fact that Mega Man X3 is still fucking difficult to play. I'd rather play that, though, than, you know, other stuff. But, I mean, some of the things you can play as Zero anytime, except the uh, introduction stage and stuff like that. He can use sub weapons, he gets the air dash, his Z Saber is varied on boss strength. Uh, you know, he can gather heart tanks, energy tanks, uh, riot armor chips. He can fill the sub weapons. He's able to fill sub weapons and energy tanks while also able to use them. He can use riot armors. He's got slightly updated di dialogue to. For his character, he can collect actually uh, the Dr. Light things, which really doesn't make sense in the canon of the series, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah. That's something. You know, it just it makes Zero playable. More so than he would be normally. And uh, it's not like if Zero dies, Zero is gone forever if you've played this game. And it's recent, it's almost two years old. I mean, that's not really recent in terms of actual time, but the nice thing about this is that it's actually in development right now, and if you just search the actual project, you'll be able to find a form that's talking about it, and uh, yeah, I'd say look forward to it whenever it gets finished. Currently, play the, you could play the current ROM and uh, ROM hack and give it a go, but uh, pretty much that's what's going on with it. Other hacks I could point you into, anything involving Sonic 3 and Knuckles is great. I'm sure a lot of you already know about Sonic 3 Complete, and that's a great hack. You, it's kind of just built from the ground up to be a more complete Sonic 3. Um, there's not much to it. If you have someone that's new to Sonic 3, they can play casual mode and easy mode. The easiest of easy Sonic ever. And that's saying a hell of a lot. Sonic 3 complete? Oh yeah, I'm talking about ROM hacks and shit. I was, I was talking to our one viewer about Mega Man X3 Project Zero. <laughs> Good. I I needed also I uh, I posted pictures in Skype, and I talk about them. So. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, like, don't give me that look. I'll see you sandwich. So uh, um, whenever you know, I mention them, that is actually uh, kind of exactly what I just did. <laughs> you could just put that in there while I'm talking about things. I'm looking forward to the Mega Man X3 uh, Zero hack being done. I think we could do the current hack as a live stream, but I want to do the final pr thing when it's done, like the, like when he's finished, which could be a while, but you know, thing. I would rather play that when it's complete with more stuff because right now it needs more. Uh, it just needs a hell of a lot more work before it's uh, you know Zero is fully playable in every basic manner. You go to the first page of the of the form. It basically talk take, talks about what he still has to do. He needs to do uh, he needs uh, levels hard coded VRAM graphics. Yeah, he has to get rid of that apparently. The VRAM should be loaded depended on the enemy present, not based on what's on a table that's hard coded. Seriously, this ruins level editing to a whole mighty hell. Yeah. That's this is proving to be a lot more difficult than anticipated. Everything is preloaded into the level, but the enemies are loaded on the fly. I'm really unsure how to go about making this work, especially since VRM is loaded right away while enemies are loaded much later. There's a possibility of actually expanding this and rewriting the entire game's routine. He's basically making a new game. Yeah, basically. And uh, that's why I want to give it a go when it's done, because it's going to be a hell of a fun thing to play. I don't know how we're going to approach it when we play it. So, uh, there is a possibility of actually blah 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 right in the game's routine. How each bit of data one after another. Example. I'll have each beta, bit of data one after another. Example. Oh, no that damn. oh dear, you're getting hurt a lot. He needs to add new features such as a secret ending. Uh, like the secret ending needs to be rewritten and fixed. Uh, 
he ha he's actually put in a save menu. Oh, really? He's replacing the password screen. It needs. He said it needs to go. I feel he like needs to add put... it. He, he just. He, this is what he says. Uh, SRAM. Uh, SRAM saving. Password screen will be dumped. This may cause issues for people, but it needs to go. Look, the tail sprite looks different. Well, I can't see it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Tails, they did give Tails a new, uh, sprite for this game. I think in before the sequel, he doesn't look as changed as this one. Tails looks like Tails, as he, like, Tails never changed in the original, uh, classic games. Oh! There's a boss battle supposed to be there, but apparently it wasn't good enough for Scrap or something, I don't remember the reason. But that's why that cutscene was like that. Okay. There was a boss um, battle there, and I think you can play it if you unlock it, I think. You finished, uh, the, uh, this is uh, step three that he wanted to do. VRM usage for X and Zero is too confined. They need to have more room to where whatever is needed. He got he, he changed that. He got he fixed that apparently. Then he says routine is updated to accommodate for new location and X slash Zero's VRAM graphics are now uh, uh oh now open to more sprites. X should have room for at least a hundred more sprites. Zero the same. Well, this is, this is one of my favorite songs in the game. Zero's sprite data have more, have room for over 210 sprites each. Which means that hopefully uh, the Z Saber gets more use in this game now. Good. That's that, seriously, this is. Oh, and then it just shows all the things that are currently available. Although this game's kind of playing to. Uh, pandering to the fact that Dr. Light's capsules are sentient? I think... I think they are. Like, it makes sense, because some of the things he says are weird. Well, in X6... And sometimes he really, talks to them. In X6, he, uh... X Zero and X actually talk to it. And it responds to them. Which, that alone is giving me, like, did Dr. Light just pour his brain into every capsule? I think maybe he has, like, a satellite of brain. Well, maybe they, he just poured his data into the capsule. It makes sense. The game never really fully... It's, the series has never fully stated what the purpose is with, uh, Dr. Light's, like, is it actually Dr. Light from Beyond the Grave, or is it just a recording? I'm guessing it probably is, a, like, a Dr. Light... I think it's Dr. Light's. If he can make a robot, it's kind of like that is you've more seen, advanced. You've seen, you, you've seen Superman, uh, the new Superman, Man of Steel, right? No. Well, basically, uh, the Fortress of Solitude, which you know Superman, yeah. Clark Kent, or Cal, if you want to call him, lives there. His dad, basically, uh, the embodiment of what his of what was left of his dad's brain, basically functions the system. And because it's AI, AI and stuff, uh, his his real dad is actually able to be there, like not in like a physical form, but like a spirit of sorts. It just took his brain and basically became him. Does that make it so that it's actually him? Maybe that's what Doctor Light really is here. Well, that's what I was thinking because. If he's smart enough to make a new robot that can think, f like, for his own actions, why can't he just, like, put his brain in something and make a robot say things? Maybe he wanted to just li die, di just die. But the thing is, though, the thing is, in the, in the hack of Mega Man X3 with Zero, Zero talks to it. I mean, yes, this is a hack, mind you, but Zero still talks to it in X6. If he talks to it in a game, immediately just, like, yep, he's... If he if he's talking to it and it's responding to him, yeah. Also, apparently Doctor Light might have fixed Zero in X6. Huh? Because you know X Zero dies in X5. You knew that, right? Yeah. Please, Duck. Okay, I was like, please tell me you know about your Mega Man lore. Yeah, I, oh. I, I know about that because in X5, I, I like to, um, you know, say, Hey, fire the laser! Hey, fire the rocket! <laughs> yep, that's how you play although, Mega Man! Uh, although, I can see why a lot of people hate... <laughs> although, I can see why a lot of people hate X6 because it's pretty bad. 
I've, I've seen Let's Plays that just completely bash it. I've seen people just say, like, there's no reason why this game should exist. X should have ended with 5. X was supposed to end with 5 and then be, you know, the next series would be 0. The only thing is, with with X6 be and, you know, 7 and 8 being canon, Apparently, Keiji Inafune did design Axel. I mean, I think that's the only thing he actually did with uh, the, the later series. He was still working on uh, Zero at the time because those series were going back, uh, were happening at the same time, being developed. Jesus Christ! Beam Sonic, go! This guy really likes Kirby. I'm not sure if he like. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure about why. I think maybe he was just doing it to make fun of people using Kirby and things, or maybe he just wanted to. I'm not sure. Okay, I when you make Kirby this good looking, like Kirby stuff this good looking, you you. There's no way. There's no way you do this as a parody. You tried to make this awesome. He, he obviously likes Kirby, because he wouldn't do this, because it's such a detailed, like, Beam hasn't always been in the Kirby series. Well, I'm just thinking, I, I remember something, one game, one ROM hack something, was just making fun of Kirby. I'm not sure if it was this game. Probably I know not. A ROM hack, hack got introduced in that contest this year about Kirby being in one of the games. Uh, Metal Sonic Hyperdrive or whatever? Oh, yeah, okay. for some reason there was Somari and Kirby. It seems to slow down the gameplay, though, to a screeching halt. This game has some gimmick levels in it. Well, I wouldn't be lying if, you know... I mean, hell, Sonic uh, uh, Casino Night is a gimmick level. Hell, Marble Zone is a gimmick level. Marble Garden Zone is a gimmick level. Carnival Knight's a gimmick level. The levels that you actually go fast in Sonic 3 and Knuckles are like, uh... And I would say you actually don't go that fast in Marble Garden just because of ev the spikes and fire that's all over the place. Well, mostly spikes. The amount of spikes that are in Marble Garden Zone is actually pretty ridiculous, and the more I go back to play it, the more ridiculous it gets. <laughs> Like, I was surprised, like, I would say that the worst part of Marble Garden Zone would be if you're playing as Tails alone, but even that, I, I can't really say that's that bad. Wasn't there that one part where it was just like walls of spikes? There's spikes all over the place, there's arrows getting shot at you, there's ball, spike balls rolling all over the place, you know, like, Lava Reef Zone is pretty much the same thing for the most part. With, with lava and fire, but you know you can bypass most. Mo it's mostly fire, and you, if you're smart and you know where all the placement of, with all the spikes are, you'll be fine. And if you have a fire shield, it's smooth sailing. Lava reaches a lot of fun, and I think it's a very underrated level. I don't like Sandopolis. Period. Sandopolis is a terrible level. It, like especially the second act. That was terrible. I kept getting- I, I, I kept on dying as Amy when I was playing the ROM hack last night because I didn't know where to go down the slides until eventually I, just, I went down and then I eventually went to the right spot and I'm like, how did I not get this part? Well, now that I know what Hyper Amy is like, I want to know what uh, Super Cream is going to be like now. Probably a bunch is she going to is she gonna get like evil flying squirrels? <laughs> what kind of shield do you have on right now? Spike shield. What does it do? Protection from spikes. Watch you go down really fast. Okay. That's a pretty impressive power up.
Um, I didn't realize Amy's moveset was so unique, though, in uh, Sonic Advance, though. Does she have, like, a downward hammer move? I don't know, I haven't played the first Advance that much. Because I was pl I, cause I know that they based a lot of uh, Amy's moveset in the Sonic hacks to Sonic Advance. But I don't know if, it, if that's necessarily what they did for, uh, um, uh... Like, because I know she has, like, a peel-out of sorts, sort of. She she basically has this for peel-out. If you're not saying that's the peel-out, then you're full of crap. Yeah, she has one in advance. I know that much. She doesn't have a spend I know that she... Though. She had this... In, ad in advance, too, I know she gets basic... She's basically a pink Sonic with a hammer, right? In advance or is she just three. pink Sonic? I think in advance, too, she's, uh... Pink Sonic with a hammer. Just... Just Sonic? I don't, does she even get the hammer? Does she even still use the hammer in Sonic Advance 2? I'm not sure. I haven't unlocked her because it's bullshit to unlock Alright. <sighs> Fuck off, Sonic. Don't give me that look. I was eating a sandwich. I actually might make dinner soon at some point. Just, just a bowl of Easy Mac. Um, Easy Mac I'm gonna look this up. Sonic Advance 2, Amy. Fuck you, game. No, I'm not doing very well, but that's because my stupid, like, little things I try to do in Sonic Plus Sonic Games. Totally, you're doing bad. I don't, yeah, from what I'm looking at in the gameplay footage, Amy doesn't have uh, her Pico Pico hammer anymore in this game. Yeah, I think in Advance 3, they brought back the hammer. But then again, like, there's a fuck ton of combinations you can do with people. Okay. How are we going to approach Advance 3? <laughs> I want to do multiplayer and record both ends, but... We could, I own it. I own it too. We could totally give that a go and do it live, or or not live, and just do a lot of it post, or all of it post, and then like versus mode live. This sounds really cool. Sped up. Oh wait, 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 wait! No, 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 no! She has her hammer. When she beats the level, she pops it out. It still counts, Sean. How are we gonna handle Sonic Battles? You have it, right? Yeah. I need to get it then. As long as we record it, we, we, we can record both screens, so... You're just gonna have to sync it together at some point. Yeah. Or we could use, like, FF Split, plug both capture devices in one computer. That would work. Actually, that worked better. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. Fuck that. We'll, and we'll just do F-Split on my computer when I come home. We'll, we'll do my computer, because my computer is cooler. My, my computer is better than your computer, but I can't really bring that places. <laughs> oh, we could just do it at my house, because that's where we have yeah. to do it. What is Tails doing? Yeah. He's making the most awkward faces ever. Dropping a warship on me is cheating. I wanna, I wanna do the X3 hack with zero, but I don't think I wanna bother with the X2 hack of zero. Most well, because story-wise, zero's zero. dead. Cutscenes. Tails, where did you get that bird thing? Is this one of the, is this a gimmicky section where you're flying around shooting shit? I'm shooting things, but I feel like we should not we shouldn't worry about uh like I want to do Kirby's Return to Dreamland four player eventually, so I want to get a fourth player for that. Eh. Well, it, as long as one of us was King DDD and Meta Knight, we'll be fine, because a lot of those puzzles, we're going to need sword and hammer, so... 
that's just that's just the inevitability of it all because we're gonna need you know you know it's it's hard it's it's a hard it's not a hard game to play but in order to get all the puzzles and shit also I want to do extra mode because fuck you oh, I keep getting distracted by things I keep hitting my fellas it's like oh look got a text message oh look something happened oh look oh well, when I play some Pokemon we'll be fine Why are we a flying battery zone Okay. Why are we in a beam Kirby bird plane? Because this guy likes Kirby. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, apparently a new Pokemon announcement's coming soon. Oh, okay. Apparently it's supposed to uh, uh, oh, be announced boy. 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific time on Monday. The head. announcement's contents are not known, and could be anything for Pokemon X or Y, or even something completely different. But the aesthetics used the announcement, which image, which that of the tra trailer leaked, that leaked for a Gotta Catch 'Em All site, will provide full details on this as and when it happens. If it's not the, what is that? What is that? That's defeated, not Mecha Sonic. Mecha Sonic? Oh my God. That's a really cool looking me uh, version of Mecha Sonic, though. It is. Apparently, we're gonna be getting a new announcement of something Pokemon related now. Uh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> what the hell? All right, let's go to the apple forest. Is this is this Applejack Cider Farm? <laughs> Tails just goes away. Bye, Tails. This would be cool if we could play two-player co-op. Would did that involve effort? Well, let's look at this for a second. Oh, I honestly enjoy Sonic more when it's single-player, when it's one person alone. It's a rhino with bumpers. I like it. What the hell? This game is really creative. Oh no, this game oozes creativity. Just a lot of the fan games ooze creativity. You know, besides the ones that are blatant D makes of Mega Man. You know. There there are good fan games. Like I said, I could point anyone into the Psycho Waluigi game or the Mario Brother the Super Mario Twilight game. Actually I wanna get that game, hold on. Mario Twilight DX. Uh, it's called Super Mario Blue Twilight DX. <laughs> uh, suddenly screw attack. What's wrong with the screw attack? Well, I have it. That's what's wrong with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't want to piss Colton off. I'll play so I'll play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Oh, that work. Go get pissed. He loves that game. I'm not. A yeah. I got a text message. Well, I think he's currently busy with things. So you might have to give him a while. Plus, he's at Jordan's, so he can't really upload anything. Well, no. I think the fun. I've heard the final boss of a. Uh of the of uh, the Mario Twilight game is actually uh Dracula. Oh good. From Symphony of the Night. What is a man? <laughs> and Mario is like, "Mamma mia." I'm downloading Mario uh, Twilight right now because it's actually a pretty fun game. 
good. I'm gonna give it a test run to see how well I can play it, actually. And then I might eventually play it. It's a Halloween game, so... Or we could play more of the new Tetris, because it's totally new. Completely. This is actually a real, like, fan game that's... We're not playing yeah, the new Tetris. We actually might do a multiplayer, though. Yeah, we have to do a multiplayer of the new Tetris at some point, because it's completely new. Nothing is the same. At all. This game's 38 megabytes. Oh, man. Break the bank. I want to give this a test run. While you're playing that, I'm going to play a little bit of this. I'm not capturing footage of it right now, mind you, but I want to give it at least a test run. I like the bubbles with, like, the stupid eyes, because they don't have spikes. So, the reason why, uh, isn't the reason why the bubbles in Sonic 4 suck so much because of Eggman's budget? Yeah, that's the official reason. Oh yeah, I have a spike shield, what am I doing? I don't have to those. You know, they could've just made... New I enemies? I don't... I can't even care. Alright, I'm gonna... I spidey the armadillo here. Uh-huh. Eh. Ring! Yeah. Uh. I'm just like, in I'm abusing invincibility frames right now. It's not okay. Yeah, dang it! Quit being creative! Why? Gamepad recommended. Okay. No, I don't want. Oh, I get my Fan games have always hit in the details, whether in parodies or game mechanics. Okay, don't let me read that. Oh my god, a monster from Castlevania stole Princess Peach. Sean, when can I livestream this? <laughs> uh, eventually, when I get done playing this game. Okay, I wanna, I'm gonna give this a little bit of a test run now. I want my insta shield. I really like this song. Yeah, I haven't heard much of the song because I normally listen to all before the sequel and I've been using sequel to play this. Dang it. I like the video game comics. Okay. Oh my god, I have to remap these buttons because they're atrocious. Why? It, the B okay, so you know you know the Xbox controller layout, right? Yeah. You know you know the B button is run and the A button is jump. Good. I have to reconfigure this. <laughs> Why is the word hilltop written on that glass? Over and over again. Nah, I'm just gonna. Put the keyboard controls. Oh, there's some Donkey Kong Country stuff going on there. I kinda just did it horribly wrong. But, it's there. I'm just gonna make it uh, controller compatible. Oh man, Isaiah. What? Donkey Kong Country stuff happening here. 
Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I'm trying to get this game s set up. Just missed all of it. Ah, whatever. Oh, this is a level of trains. Having fun with your game? Uh, trying to figure out uh buttons right now. Then I'll be able to commentate with you again in a minute. All right, let's see if this works. There we go. That's much better. I need. This plays much better now. Oh my god, Mario jumps like a fucking maniac. Good. What are you doing right now? Uh, dodging trains, not doing a very good job. Apparently Mario can wall, wall kick too. Super Mario 64 2D? Pretty much, yeah. And he jumps crazy. He has his triple jump too. And it's fucking nuts. What's the smell? It smells like trash. It's actually pretty fun. I like this. Dang it, creativity, stop it. Well, this triple jump's getting kind of old, though. Why are you just, like, forced to use it constantly? This is fun. I like this. This is fun. I don't like creativity. I'd be willing to play this for the channel. You gotta get used to the controls before, uh... Oh, they brought back the bunny hat! Okay, I kinda like this game a lot now. I totally wanna play this now.
my god, lightning. Fucking skeletons, they're like the skeletons from uh, Castlevania. Oh, wait. <laughs> Laser! This screams early fan game and it's great. <laughs> Why? Why does it scream early fan game? Because, you know, like, y you remember uh, Sonic Rule Blast 1, right? Yeah. Well, imagine this, but with actual effort. Well. I also just hurt Eggman by hitting him in my falling animation. Da 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 da. Of the train, killed it. We're using music from Boise. Death egg that way. Go tails, go, go tails, go, go tails, go. Okay, I'm done. Um, the nice thing about it is when you close the game, it does a little like, uh, like a little circle close thing, like a transition. Oh, that's cool. I dig it. I dig it. It's good. It's fun. Good old. It's good. Old, it's good family values for the family. Family values for the family. Yes. You heard what I said. Oh, uh, I understand that. Yeah. All right. How much longer are you playing this? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I would recommend to get this game, even though it's a bit archaic. I'm ready to do, uh, poke your mom whenever, uh... What? I mean, Pokemon. Sorry, force of habit. Old habits die hard. I'm sorry, just Mario seemed so much so much more appealing at the time. And I played it, and I had fun. Thanks.
Teleportation, yeah! <laughs> well, it's Facebook official, Colton's engaged. Okay. Cause... You okay? I think I'm done with this game for now. Alright, do you want me to do something? Yeah, something. Oh, okay. <laughs>